Hello everyone, this is Zook, and today I'm doing a Demon Prince of Nurgle. For those of you that have absolutely no idea what this is, uh, Nurgle is one of the four Chaos Gods in the Warhammer universe, and Demon Princes are um, his sort of high-ranking followers. I think it's second rank or third rank, something like that, after him. Um, this guy is taken from a, a figurine I saw on Forge World, so he's not on Games Workshop. And it's not your typical demon prince, like it doesn't have the two horns and the wings and all the elements taken from uh, Chaos Space Marines, like it doesn't look very humanoid compared to others. But I like the way it looks and I think it's, it's really disgusting, so I decided to draw this one instead of uh, something else. I was either going for this one or uh, an orc, but this just seems more fascinating to me. Now I drew my initial sketch and then I uh, shaved off a bit of graphite because I, I thought, hell, it doesn't have a lot of highlights and considering the amount of details that it has on its body, it would be easier for me if I just erased out uh, the highlights instead of trying to go around them. But in that process, I lost my sketch, so I had to take it from the top and it wasn't a big deal because the, the general shape of the character is pretty easy and that's what I have most problems with in general. It's like the just the contour of everything. The details are really no issue. Like I can detail my ass off 24/7, but it's just general shape and like proportions that I find a bit more challenging, but not impossible. Like right there I can see almost anything and I just started detailing from what I was looking at cuz I used the the figurine as reference. This guy has one horn, one eye. His head is sort of stuck to his body at a very strange angle and it has a hole in its face where the, the tongue is sticking out. These creatures are like an exercise for the mind to come up with the most disgusting and disturbing uh, things imaginable. And uh, I don't know if you can hear that or not, there's some stupid gypsies planning a wedding somewhere and they're they're yelling like mic testing. I'm just gonna close the window here. Alright, sorry about that. It's just every single weekend some some gypsy family is getting married and it seems like the the location for that is just somewhere in my neighborhood i don't even know where that sound is coming from and like every single sunday some retard is yelling one two test one two for hours on end it's uh it's not very cool anyway back to the drawing um I improvised a lot on this character because some of the detail, details that were on the figurine sure were amazing, but I wanted to incorporate my own personal thing into it, so I drew like some skulls there on its back. Um, in the original model it has some sort of bony formations or some rocks, I don't know what the hell they are, but uh, I incorporated a few skulls just because I like skulls, big fan of skulls. Right there I'm drawing a wound on its arm with like stitches and stitches that have been ripped out and the wound is basically open. It's just a lot of things you can do on these characters that look natural, like, you know, just think of the most disgusting thing you've ever seen and I've seen a lot of disgusting things and <laughs> try and incorporate those into your drawing. If you sir, if you browse um, E-Fucked or something then uh, I'm sure you'll get a lot of inspiration for what to... Uh, to incorporate into drawings such as this one. Right there I erased one of his claws because I didn't like what I had done with it. I'm just trying to, um, like taking small breaks here to see like what would look natural, uh, what what should I draw to make it flow, you know, like to make it look like, oh sure it has a claw coming out uh, that's opposite the other two so it can actually have some sort of practical uses to grab something and uh i guess i i decided to go with like uh, what you see there it's it's okay for for its purpose just finishing the hand now these three claws of his aren't supposed to like actually be able to grab anything they're more i guess used as weapons from the looks of it right there i'm drawing its booby and uh, it just has a lot of holes and scars and scabs and wounds in its uh, in its skin. And I'm gonna apologize for the graphite glare in the lamp. It's nothing I can do about it. I drew this at night, so I can use natural light for for anything. 
Now, it has a, um, an apron made of what seems to be human skin, or whatever creature skin, hanging off of his uh, stomach to cover his privates, and that's attached to rings that are also hanging off of his uh, flesh on his body. So, this guy is probably very uncomfortable, considering all things, but uh, he seems to be uh, fine with it. Just a lot of uh, small little details that make up this guy and his uh, disgusting and gruesome appearance that I really enjoy doing, like all the little wounds and just irregularities on his body and skin and everything. And his face is fascinating as well, like it has all these crooked teeth and this one huge horn just coming out of his the side of his head. It's just, it's really nice. I'm getting, uh, I'm becoming a... Uh, a bigger and bigger fan of Warhammer just because of the creatures it has. So far it seems to be the most well-designed game of of all of them, even though I've never played it, but I'd probably get sick of it if I actually tried to play it considering all the rules and everything, but uh, the creature design is flawless, like, it's absolutely brilliant. I'm just um, drawing small details, trying to get a feel for how I want to continue. Right there, there's sort of a meaty stump coming out of his chest that's, uh, it has, uh, like, some skin flaps hanging off under it, and, um, I don't know what it's supposed to be, if it's in his body or something that he's been stabbed with, or, you know, he seems to be fine with it there, so I incorporated it rather okay-ish. Now, his arm is, um, it has like a cannon with three uh, nozzles coming out of his flesh because these demon creatures, that's how they roll and it has two hoses going into a cauldron on his back that has a lot of uh, like human body parts and slime and pus and all the nasty stuff that you can think of and he uses that as projectiles again, very well thought out creature Like, I don't even know where they got the inspiration for this one but it is really cool now I'm improvising a lot on the arm because it's supposed to, you know, it's it's sort of a foreground element, so it has to have a lot of uh, of precise details. Like I'm putting there some wounds, some skin flaps, uh, stretched skin, uh, skulls coming out of his flesh, uh, rocks and grooves and scars and everything. Just go crazy with it. These creatures like this are good practice because they uh, they force you to access the data bank in your head of, of these elements to incorporate them. Like for example, if you draw for a long time, eventually you will have a database of you know, what elements to use on what creatures. Like something that's supposed to be disgusting, then you'll see, you'll think of like, hmm, how did I draw that wound uh, some weeks ago where it had like two skin pieces of skin hanging off it? or um, the hole in its head, or hole in its face, you know, the brain remembers all these things and you can access them on demand when you're drawing something. And of course, at the beginning, you know, when I started doing these videos, I, I couldn't think of anything, you know, I, I had to look at the reference like every single second, but at this point, after like a couple of weeks, it doesn't, you know, you don't even have to look anymore, you just look once to get a general view and then you improvise so as to make it look good and you don't even have to follow the the model you just access whatever's in your head and it works it really does this is why practicing what you like to draw is important because if you don't like it then you won't remember it just like you know if you don't like something at school then you probably won't remember it it's sort of a drag comparing this to school but in in a way it is the same because um there are certain there's a certain amount of effort you have to put in to to be good at it and if you take it seriously and you know try to to make something decent then you will be good at it now i'm basically finished with it trying to erase out the highlights um i wasn't too happy because it the character itself isn't supposed to have a lot of highlights so i just uh, erased the outline of it to to make it pop out and I leave the other stuff uh, around it and it looks pretty good it's it's definitely disgusting I showed it to a friend and they turned their head away because uh, so I guess mission accomplished so, um, I hope you liked the video and I hope you find, found it useful somehow and I'll see you next time bye